organization called FIRM, the Fellowship of Israeli-Related Ministries, held its inaugural meeting in Colorado. CBN News Senior Editor John Wagi attended that meeting and brings us this report from the Israel Summit. We're near the foothills of the Rocky Mountains where a group of Christian and Messianic believers have gathered to voice their Bible-based support for Israel and the Jewish people at a critical time in history. As conditions get worse globally for Jews and Christians, the message from the Israel Summit is clear. It's time for those who believe the Bible to stand with Israel. Here at Resurrection Fellowship, hundreds of Christian and Jewish believers are on hand to witness the launch of a global effort called FIRM, the Fellowship of Israel-Related Ministries. Jerusalem pastor Wayne Hillsden founded FIRM to be a bulwark against hatred and to bless the world by supporting Israel and the Jewish people. He says it will come with a cost. Certainly among many in the Islamic world, we the Sunday people are viewed as just as bad as the Saturday people. And there may come a day soon when our lives will be at risk because of our commitment to love and bless the Jewish people. Rabbi Jonathan Bernus says the hatred of Jews is an outgrowth of a fierce spiritual clash between God and Satan. Folks, we are in a battle. We are facing a very real enemy who is wounded and truly believes that he can stop God's plan from being fulfilled. What's our job? Fulfill the plan. Anti-Semitism is at its strongest on many college campuses, so the summit is paying special attention to young people. 22-year-old Michael Mistretta has a key role in reaching them with a message that's more spiritual than political. As a young person, when I, when I think about God, how He forgives me, how He shows me mercy, how much more will He do the same to Israel? How much more will His love endure forever? The Stand with Israel movement is worldwide, and the people who came to Colorado are from at least a dozen countries and many U.S. states. Gathering together with others that have the same heart and same mind uh, to see God's purposes fulfilled, to see Israel supported, to see the Jewish people come back to their own Messiah. Beth Shear says the summit changed her perspective. Knowing that times are going to be coming where they're not even really going to like us for what we stand for, but that we still need to stand for them. I know that our God is for them. Rabbi Bernus believes that the uniting of Jewish and Gentile leadership can solve many serious problems. Like the rise of anti-Semitism, the growth of replacement theology, anti-Israel attitudes, we need to deal with this together um, and we, we need to do it now. According to a Google search, the distance between Loveland and Jerusalem is more than 6,800 miles. But in the hearts and minds of these people at the summit, the distance is a lot shorter than that. Reporting from Loveland, Colorado for Jerusalem Dateline, I'm John Wagi.